Hi. What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we are gonna unbox the cheapest new guitar that I've ever bought and see if it sucks butts. Let's do it. All right guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, I just hit my funny bone. Oh. My name is Kyle and what I do is I take awesome high gain amps, guitars, pedals, speakers, all sorts of stuff, record it with a simple setup and I give you guys the unprocessed audio on your end. But today we're doing something a little bit different. If you're not new to my channel, you will know that I am notoriously budget conscious when I'm buying gear and I typically only buy things used. So with that being said, I saw a guitar go on sale the other day for a really, really low price. And it's a guitar that I've always been curious about. Seen them in the Guitar Center stores multiple times. And some of them that I've played have been pretty good. And some that I've played have been pretty awful. So I kind of went ahead and took a chance because this was marked down to $249, brand new, shipped to my door, as opposed to the $400 normal price that they usually sell for. Granted, these guitars go on sale fairly often, but I've never seen them this cheap new. So I figured, you know what, why not? Let's take a chance. I haven't seen many good reviews of this guitar on the internet, so I figured that I would go ahead, grab one, review it with you guys, and uh, see if it's worth the money or not. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna break into this thing. Double boxed. It's about one of the only times when wrapping it twice actually matters. All right, so the store that I purchased this from is Musician's Friend. And I don't have any sort of affiliate program with them and I purchased this guitar with my own money. So just figured that I would let you guys know that. I do have affiliate links to Zounds and Sweetwater if you guys wanna grab something from there. But uh, yeah, this was just kind of a, a pure curiosity video. So we're gonna go ahead, pull this out of the box. Now, before we get to unwrapping this guitar, the reason that I've been so curious about it is it has pretty good features for the price. And honestly, when I've seen them in store, most of them look really nice as well. They just don't look like a $249 guitar. So with that being said, moment of truth. All right. <laughs> God, I hate these things. There it is, guys. And it's a looker too. Come on, nothing. So this is the Guitar Center store brand Mitchell. This is the MS450 model. And I believe that this is a all mahogany model. Well, that freaked me out for a minute. I thought that there was damage, but it turns out that the jack is recessed on the bottom. So that's pretty interesting. But yeah, this is basically an all mahogany set neck guitar with a rosewood fretboard, locking tuners, and a tunematic bridge. It's got coil taps on both of the pickups. And again, normally $400, but on sale right now, 249 bucks, brand new. And honestly, it's a really good looking guitar. The top on this thing, obviously it's a veneer, but looks really, really good. It's got a nice even flame top to it. Kind of a nice like uh almost like a gibson bourbon burst style finish and i'm i'm not mad at the way it looks come on nothing on that one what did you do with the peanut butter chips i didn't do anything with them you probably ate them you're on a rampage so yeah another cool thing about this guitar that kind of caught my eye the first time i saw it is it has a natural kind of like flamed wood binding i don't know if that's uh, like fake manufactured or what it is, but either way, it looks cool in person, especially when the light hits it right. There's like a little bit of flame to it. So it has an ever so slight little cutaway on the bottom of the neck pocket here. So uh, makes it a little bit smoother if you're going up to play some leads. If you like that type of thing, you know that I do not. So yeah, looking over the guitar, the only thing that I'm noticing off the bat is we'll try and get close here but the binding is really rough on the bottom like really rough um it's all carved up all goofy down here in the bottom corner uh it actually looks like there's like either dirt or filler and not only the frets but 
kind of down tucked into the actual binding as well. I'll get some close up of that for you guys. Um, and then there are some, some minor imperfections along the edge of the guitar where the binding kind of meets the, the actual finish of the guitar. Uh, one spot where it's actually pretty noticeable and looks pretty bad. But other than that, not terrible. And considering I paid $249, it's, you know, it's, you shouldn't expect a perfect guitar at that price. If I paid 400 bucks and it came looking like that, I think I would probably be a little bit more critical. But again, at the price point that this thing comes at on sale, it's typically on sale for at least 349 or 300 bucks. But $249, I'm not gonna get too nitpicky, especially when it looks overall as good as it does. But we're gonna plug the guitar in, see how it sounds real quick, and then I will give you guys a more in-depth video on this in about a week or so once I get some time with it, once I get it set up, acclimated, and get to, get to know it a little bit. So yeah, let's plug it in, let's check it out. All right guys, so I am plugged into my quad cortex because my girlfriend is currently home and if I plug this thing into a half stack, she'll probably murder me in my sleep. So we're gonna try to keep it quiet today. We are actually going through one of my very own captures from one of my capture packs that are currently for sale. Do you like that? This is the Purple Nightmare. I've got the Electric Eye Mud Killer pedal boosting the Purple Nightmare, and we are going into the Get Good Drums Cali Oversize Pack. So let's hear how that sounds. All right, so a good sign right off the back is I am not getting any signal from the guitar going into the quad cortex. So it sounds, seems like there might be a problem right away. All right, so we are all tuned up. First thing that I am noticing with this guitar before we even get some sounds out of it, the neck is on the fat side, which I kind of like. I like thicker necks. It definitely reminds me of a 50. Are you laughing? Yeah. Why? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't, well, what's funny about it? So as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I like fat necks. <laughs> This is why you can't be home when I do this. The action on it is pretty surprisingly low. It's not great, but it's not awful. There's no crazy bows in the neck or anything. So I gotta say, uh, out of the factory, out of the box, it's, it's fairly impressive for a guitar this cheap. And after tuning it up, it seems like it's intonated properly. I will say that the strings do have some rust on them. They're probably super cheap no-name strings, I would imagine, because there's no sort of hang tag. And usually when there's name brand strings, they like to advertise that. Actually, I'm looking at the string ends and they look to be like Daddario strings. So yeah, maybe it's just been sitting for a while, but that makes me a little bit, a little bit nervous because it's possible that there was some moisture in the warehouse where this was being stored, but who knows. The rest of the guitar seems to be okay, so we should be fine. Hey, there we go, we've got sound. So it turns out I'm an idiot and I had the input on the wrong selection in the DAW. So, all right, we're off to a good start. I should also mention that this is actually the first video that I'm using my new interface on. Uh, Zounds was nice enough to send over a Claret 8 Pre Plus, one of the brand new eight channel interfaces. So uh, yeah. You can hear even more clearly how bad I am at playing guitar now, thanks to Zounds. We still have that purple nightmare, mud killer profile loaded up. Let's see how this thing sounds. All right, so seems a little bit muffled in the top end off the bat. So not terrible. It definitely does seem a little muffled on the top end from what I can tell right now. The guitar plays really well. Already getting some feedback through the pickup too, so it may not be properly wax potted. But it does play well. Even with these really skinny strings on it, it actually feels fairly comfortable. All right, 
right, so we actually have an Omega Granifier capture here. All right, guys, so off the bat, the guitar is set up well. It plays really, you know, surprisingly well for a guitar at this price, especially right out of the box. We've got the locking tuners on it. This is a set neck guitar, tunematic bridge. We've got the coil splitting ability here on both pickups. Um, overall, I think the guitar has good bones. I think it's gonna be a good mod project, especially once I get some oil on the fretboard and kind of get that thing, it's looking a little dry little bit thirsty um, and the pickups I'm almost guaranteeing are gonna have to come out. But otherwise, other than the little goofy finish imperfections on the binding, I'm, I'm pretty impressed out of the box for 250 bucks. So yeah, that's about all I have to say for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see me do more product unboxings, let me know down in the comments. Let me know. If you don't want to see me do this ever again, let me know. Just put it down in the comments and I'll meet you guys down there to talk about it as always. If this is your first time here and you like the video, do me a big favor, hit the like button on the way out. It really does help. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. That way you don't miss the full review of this guitar and the eventual mod project that it's going to turn into because I think that this is going to be a keeper as long as we upgrade some of the parts on it. So with that being said, thanks for watching guys. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. You know what this wall is missing? Another ant. There we go.